Unsolved 1957, the case of 74-year-old Edward Murray. Edward Murray was found nearly naked and burnt near a plant that he was guarding in Greasley Street, Orwell, Nottingham. He later died in hospital. He was found in the early hours of the 16th of December 1957 by a 61-year-old night worker at about 1.20am. About 250 yards from where his body was found, the police found a dump of tools and building materials that was on fire. It was thought that he had been struck by two youths and that afterwards his clothes had caught on fire. Most of his clothing had been burned off. When he was questioned by a policeman, he said, I came back to my lamps. Two men done me. The night worker that found him said that just after 1am, the two of his workmates told him that they had heard pitiful moaning and that he had gone to investigate. He said that when he got to Edward Murray's canvas hut, that he saw the tools on the fire. He said, I could still hear moaning, and eventually I discovered Murray about 150 yards from the hut. He looked as though he had been trying to crawl home. He was a dreadful sight. He was naked except for his socks and a shoe, because his clothes had been burned off him. I ran back to get a coat to put over him whilst the other two ran for the police. While I stood by him, he muttered something about two men but I couldn't really understand it, as he could hardly speak. Edward Murray had lived in Coventry Road in Bulwell. His inquest, which concluded on Monday the 17th of February 1958, returned a verdict of manslaughter by person or persons unknown. The pathologist that carried out his post-mortem said that Edward Murray had had a black eye, and that he had come to the conclusion that he had probably been struck whilst he was standing outside his hut, and that his clothes had caught fire later. The police said that during their inquiries that more than 13,000 homes had been visited, with more than 1,000 people being interviewed, and it was heard that a fairly accurate description of one of the two youths thought to have been responsible was known. Their inquiries were said to have involved 30 detectives who visited every house within a quarter of a mile radius of Greasley Street. On the 21st of December 1957, it was reported that the police were aiming to question more than 5,000 men in the Bulwell area, adding, we will question the whole of Bulwell, population 23,000, if necessary. On the night of Friday the 27th of December 1957, an artist's impression of one of the youths was broadcast on television through the BBC's Sutton Coalfield transmitter. The sketch was said to have shown how the youth had been dressed, but his face was left blank. Copies of the artist's sketch were shown at cinemas and in shops, and it was said that the police were showing people copies of the sketch when asking them for information. The youth was described as being 18 years old, fair-headed, wearing jeans and a striped crew neck sweater. It was said that the youth had been seen in Greasby Street at about 12.30am with a man. The police said that they had issued several thousand questionnaires to all men in the Bullwell area aged between 16 and 35 with each of them being asked. 1. Where they had been between 11.30pm on the Sunday and 1am on the Monday. 2. Who they were with. 3. What they were wearing. The police added that the questionnaires could be kept confidential. The coroner said that it appeared that someone was screening or shielding the youths responsible. Nothing more is known about how Edward Murray came to be injured and burned, and his case remains unsolved to this day.